Hi, this is Lalit Vasist and you are watching Engineering Made Easy. Friends, today we will see a very important problem based on amplitude modulation. Here we will solve this problem and you will learn basic concepts of amplitude modulation. Here we will discuss various things like uh, you can see here in this list that A, B, C, D, E and F also. So we will see all these uh, parts of this problem and this problem is going to be very important as uh, it will explain you all the basic concepts related to amplitude modulation. I will explain you the basic things uh, when I will solve each part of this uh, problem. So I recommend you to watch this video till the end. But first of all, let me tell you what is amplitude modulation. Actually, in amplitude modulation, the amplitude of the carrier wave is varied according to the instantaneous value of the modulating signal. Modulating signal is also known as the message signal. So what we do here, when we want to transmit any message signal, then we do not uh, transmit it as it is. We first take a carrier wave having a high frequency and we modulate this uh, carrier wave by the message signal that we want to transmit. And in amplitude modulation, amplitude of the carrier wave is varied according to the instantaneous values of the modulating signal, this message signal. While in case of frequency and phase modulation, the frequency and phase of the carrier wave is varied according to the message signals amplitude variations. So let's uh, discuss this problem now. The problem is there is an audio signal. Uh, its uh, equation is given here 15 sine 2 pi 1500T, 1500T, okay. It is the audio signal and uh, it amplitude modulates a carrier wave. This carrier wave is given by 60 sine 2 pi, 1 lakh, this is 1 lakh actually, 100000T. Then find the following. We will calculate all these things. Here we have, uh, we are given with the, the audio signals equation, the message signal that we want to transmit and the carrier wave equation that is being modulated by this audio signal. So let's find all these things. First is sketch the waveform of the audio signal. Let's now sketch the waveform of the signal. This is the equation of the signal 15 sine 2 pi 1500T. So see here this is the waveform of our audio signal. Our audio signal is given by this and this is the carrier signal. So this you can see that this is a sinusoidal signal so the sine wave we know this is the shape of this signal and uh, what will be its amplitude its amplitude will be 15 because the standard uh, format uh, for this uh, equation is a sine of 2 pi f into t so a is the amplitude maximum peak value so 15 is the amplitude you see here it is a sinusoidal wave and its amplitude is 15 so this is the positive peak and this is minus 15 is the negative peak so it is very simple and its frequency is 1500 because its standard format is a sine 2 pi f into t so f is this this is frequency now let's draw the carrier signal the second part is to sketch the carrier waveform so this is our carrier waveform you can also observe here that um, as i told you that the frequency of carrier wave is very high in comparison to the modulating signal so you see it's high frequency so what is the equation of carrier wave it is 60 sine 2 pi 1 lakh of t 100000t it is the amplitude 60 a sine 2 pi f t format by this we have 60 as the amplitude positive side 60 negative side its peak value is minus 60 and it is also a sinusoidal graph and you can observe it that its frequency is uh, uh, 1500 while its frequency is 1 lakh or you can say 100 k also clear by this uh, waveform that its frequency is much larger than the than this message signal this audio signal now third part of the uh, question is uh, to sketch the modulated signal. This is our modulated signal. How we get this modulated signal? Actually, uh, we know that uh, as I told you earlier, what is amplitude modulation? In amplitude modulation, the amplitude of the carrier wave 
is varied according to the instantaneous value of the modulating signal. Here this is the variation of amplitude of the message signal. Okay, this is the shape of the message signal, audio signal. What we will do in amplitude modulation, we will change the amplitude of this carrier wave according to the instantaneous. Instantaneous means at every instant. So the value present at every instant. So its shape, the peak of this uh, carrier uh, waves amplitude will get the shape like this message signal, this audio signal. So look here. Now the peak has taken the shape of uh, its uh, amplitude of the message signal. So here we have two bands. This is known as the upper side band. The whole information is present. We can retrieve the information present in the audio signal at the receiving end by the by this envelope we call this as envelope this is the envelope because this variation in the peak values of the amplitude of this carrier has the whole information about this message signal so we have this is upper side band this is lower side band and only one side band is enough to retrieve the full information about the message signal and how we have drawn this you see the variations are change in the amplitude of the carrier signal is according to the value of the amplitude of the message signal. So to draw this, you look at this, that this is uh, the peak value when we draw the modulated signal. First draw this line, this dotted line, and it is the 60 was the amplitude of the carrier wave, the peak value of the carrier wave. Look at this, 60 was the amplitude of the carrier wave and 15. 15 is the amplitude of this message signal and 60 is the of that of carrier signal. So we to draw this we take this as the axis and uh, draw the shape of the message signal and 60 is the peak value of the carrier signal and you see here that 60 since this this variation is uh, according to the message signal so this from the 60 value or the peak value of carrier signal it goes 15 15 was the peak value of message signal so this is the shape so 15 60 plus 15 and 60 minus 15 so 60 plus 15 is 75 60 minus 15 is 45 so we draw this shape and uh, in the identically we draw it uh, on the negative side so this is the shape of the modulated waveform and we know how we got this and what is its importance. We can retrieve the modulating signal from this. Now the fourth part of this problem is to find the modulation index and the percent modulation. So the modulation index by definition of modulation index for the amplitude modulation is the amplitude of the maximum amplitude of the modulating signal divided by the maximum amplitude of the carrier signal. Now we know both of these values. I told you that the maximum amplitude of the audio signal this uh, is 15 and uh, its value is 60 for the carrier. So we can easily find it 15 divided by 60. So these are the ratio. This is modulation index is simply the ratio of amplitudes of modulating signal that, that is the message signal and the carrier signal 15 by 60 comes out to be 1 by 4 so 0.25 and to calculate the percent modulation it, it is in percent so we just multiply this modulation index by 100 so its value is simply 0 0.25 into 100 that is 25 percent so 25 percent is the percent modulation now our next part that is e part of this question is look at this we have solved A, B, C and D parts of the question. E is what are the frequencies of the audio signal and the carrier signal? Okay, so the frequency components that are present in the audio and uh, carrier signal are as we know that uh, 15 sine 2 pi 1500t is the given equation of audio signal and this is the standard uh, equation of uh, the modulating signal vm sine 2 pi fmt i have already discussed it uh, earlier just now that uh, 2 pi if you compare both of these then this is the maximum amplitude 15 vm is equals to 15 and 2 pi fm fm is the maximum frequency so corresponding to fm it is 1500 just compare these so 1500 
is the 1500 hertz is the maximum frequency this is 2 pi fm 2 pi fm can also be written as omega t vm sine omega t so omega would have been 2 pi 1500 but here we want to find the maximum frequency it is 1500 hertz and exactly in the same way this is the standard format uh, vc v, vc sine 2 pi fct for the carrier wave and this is the equation for carrier wave so vc maximum amplitude is uh, 60 and 2 pi fct 2 pi fc so at the place of fc we have 100 k 100000 so this is the frequency 100 kilohertz is the frequency maximum frequency present in the carrier signal now the last part f part of the question is in the spectrum of amplitude modulation this is the amplitude modulation that we have seen we need to find the frequency so actually there are three types of frequencies that are present in the amplitude modulation amplitude modulated wave spectrum first is the carrier frequency second one is the upper sideband frequency and third is the lower sideband frequency so the first is the carrier frequency we have uh, uh, calculated the carrier frequency it is 100 kilohertz so 100 kilohertz okay 1 lakh hertz and the second part is the upper sideband frequency upper sideband frequency is the frequency of the carrier plus the frequency maximum frequency present in the modulating signal so fc plus fm we already know this fm okay fm we have calculated and also know the fc so fc plus fm so 101500 hertz and fc minus fm fc minus fm means this 100k minus 1500 so it is 98500 hertz so all these frequencies fc fc plus fm and fc minus fm three components of frequencies are present in the modulated signal amplitude modulated signal so these were the six parts of this problem and uh, i'm sure you must have liked them so in the next video we will see more problems on amplitude modulation more solved problems and we'll see the basic concepts along with solving the problem so guys see you in the next video with more such problems thanks for watching and if you have not subscribed my channel please don't forget to subscribe the channel engineering made easy and like and share the video if you liked it thank you for watching bye bye friends for more such videos you can subscribe my channel engineering made easy and please don't forget to like and share the video if you liked it for more detailed information you can visit my blog See you soon in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.